Hello everybody. This is the story of Goldilocks and just the one bear and it's by Lee Hodgkinson. Once upon a time there was this bear. One minute he was lolloping about in the wood all happy-go-lucky and the next minute he hadn't a crumb of a clue where he was. He was one completely lost bear. The bear didn't much like this place. Too many bright lights and not enough twigs. Too much loud honking and beeping and not nearly enough owl hooting. The bear was also a teeny bit scared and his furry legs had gone slightly wobbly. Maybe the thing to do, said the bear, looking round, is to nip into snooty towers here to get away from this terrible racket. But the spinny, snooty towers door made the bear feel dizzy. And being dizzy with wobbly legs was bad news. What the bear needed was a little sit down. A little sit down somewhere would definitely see him tickety boo. The bear peeked through a door and thought how very pleasant it was up here. Not nasty and noisy like down there, thought the bear. Just the place for a little sit down. All that whooshy travelling was certainly a hungry business. So before his little sit down, a spot of porridge seemed like a good idea. This porridge is too soggy, said the bear. This porridge is too crunchy, said the bear. This porridge is a bit on the dry side, said the bear, but it's better than nothing. Now the bear was ready for his little sit down. This chair is too ouchy, said the bear. This chair is too noisy, said the bear. This chair is just right, said the bear. A little sit down is all very well, but what the bear needed to feel really tickety-boo was a good old-fashioned lie down in a comfy bed. This bed is too frothy, said the bear. This bed is too pink, said the bear. This bed is just right. Yawn the bear, and soon he nodded off. The bear dreamt of crunching through leaves. The bear dreamt of pottering about in his slippers. The bear dreamt of a voice shouting very, very loudly. Somebody's been eating from my fishbowl, said the daddy person. Somebody's been eating from my dear little pumpkin's kitty nibbles, said the mummy person. And someone's been eating my toast, said the little person, and they've eaten it all up. Unfortunately, the bear was not dreaming at all. He was wide awake and back in real life again. Somebody has squished my cactus, said the daddy person. Somebody has upset my dear little pumpkin, said the mummy person. And somebody has popped my bean bag, said the little person. Somebody's been sleeping in my bath, said the daddy person. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said the mummy person. Shh, whispered the little person. I think... That somebody is sleeping in my bed right now. The bear peeked from under the duvet to see a daddy person, a mummy person and a little person standing right there. The bear thought that the mummy person looked ever so slightly familiar and the mummy person thought that scoffing other people's breakfast, breaking other people's stuff and snoozing in other people's beds 
seemed ever so slightly familiar too. Then the penny dropped. Little bear, said the mummy person. <gasps> Goldilocks, said the mayor. Porridge, asked Goldilocks. The bear nodded. So Goldilocks cooked up a big bowl and plonked it in front of him. It was not too hot. It was not too cold. It was just right. And it made the bear almost forget about that once upon a time when Goldilocks had behaved so badly, this little bear would never dream of doing anything like that. And although it had been good to see Goldilocks living so happily ever after with those charming people, the bear decided it was time to go back home to the woods. Yeah.